What's up, guys? This is the Board Game Roamer, and we're back with our Too Many Bones Undertow, uh, published by Chip Theory Games playthrough. We're doing Remember Gasket versus Volkesh. We just completed our fourth day encounter, and so far we have four progress points. Um, just as a quick recap, we took Blitz, uh, Last Encounter, and the Secondary Canister for the Hydro. And so that is day four completed. We're going to move on to day five and draw our encounter and see what happens. So let's go down to the board and read our encounter card. All right. The dart of something beautiful. It's not pretty. Limbs blasted off, spinning gyroscopes exposed, and you're wearing a smoking mess. But the darter mech is now mine. It was touch and go with my limited tech knowledge, but this nasty looking Franken darter is beginning to spark and belch to life. Belch to life. It's alive. So many, so, gosh, I can't read it, Dale. So many options. I could program it now and mow my opponents down to size, or I could load it with explosives and blow the next camp to pieces. Maybe I could even ride it for some extra mobility. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so interesting. We do not have uh, but one option. It is combat. So we have our normal BQ, which on day five is going to be five. And then we add five points, so it's going to be ten. Uh, we have surprise, which means we start first in initiative. Place mech darter on the battle mat at one of the gearlock starting positions and use it as an ally. Um use a d6 for its lane uh, use d6 for darters initiative no lane martyr she's one extra skill for the starter before battle blaster darter has plus one attack stat uh, bomber on its turn darter may self-destruct dealing three true damage to all adjacent units or bolster during any gear locks move phase it may board for no decks darter if adjacent to it uh, while their movement does not cost decks, at end of each move phase, Gearlock must disembark adjacent, which also does not cost max uh, decks. So we can move around the board basically for free. Um, we can use it as a huge explosion, or we can just use it as a normal standard ally with an extra attack. But before we decide that, we need to pull out a mech darter from the stack. And let's see here. I guess there's our only one. Yes. Yeah. So here is our mech darter. I'm going to sh shuffle three chips as best as you can shuffle. So let's take a look at the mech darter. All right. So what has it got? It is two health, four initiative, which doesn't matter. Uh, one attack, three armor, self repair one. And of course, swap, which we've seen swap before. Self repair. Let's look on the G to peg. Uh, the Garg, I mean. Um, so, self repair. At the start of this unit's turn, place defense die totaling number on it. All right? So, it's going to get a little bit more armor every turn, which is good. Um,. But we got to remember, our BQ is going to be two fives. Now, we've actually already got both of these fives. Um, and we know what they are because we've already scouted them. First one is the Ape Imposter to attack one defense, five health, three in it. Untargetable on a bone and one mind ranged. That's the first one, and then the second one is a primate trap master, six health, four knit, three attack dice, one defense dice, trap, blind strike, one, and is melee. So, knowing that, what do we want to do? I kind of feel like the three true damage is going to be the best um, for this guy, just because they're pretty heavy on the two more defense die. And the 
question is, do we want to roll cut or energy arc? We potentially can do more damage with energy arc. And then another attack die. Let's go with that. That's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So... Okay, so we have two defense, and then one that we basically can't use. We have one attack, so he loses one health. And then we have two bones. Uh, remember, the green bone is something that we have to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put Blitz back in here. And... Because we rolled a bone, it doesn't cost any hydro. We're going to have to put that there. And we'll use it, but we can't uh, increase any more die. We don't have enough room. So it will go back here. That's our turn. So then our friend here is going to roll. Trap Smith is going to roll. And three attack, one defense against us. All right, so he got two bones, one defense, and two damage. Remember, he has blind strike, so it's going to just one. And then we'll just take that one out for the two. So we soaked that. Then um, this ranged unit goes... Remember, he has one mine, which means that this Trapsmith gets a free attack die, rolls a one, and then he will do his normal attack, which is two defense, one attack die, and he's going to roll that. So he gets two defense and one hit, which will soak up with our shields, and we're still good to go. Now it is our ally. He's going to move here. And then we're going to say he explodes. And remember the card said it's true damage. So he's going to come off the mat. Uh, put him in the discard. And three true damage. To each. And his uh, init die comes off, and that is the end of that round, round number one. So now we'll go to round number two. It's our go. Well, we definitely need defense. So we're going to roll three of those. And I think we're going to use the cut to put a bleed on this guy. See if we can get that going. Let's see what happens. Okay, so two defense, one defense. Cut does hit. So he's going to get that. We can't use that defense. There's not enough. Uh, and we don't have to use that hydro because we used cut. So that's, that's uh, his turn. And he goes, takes one damage, true damage. Then he's going to roll his three attack dice. Oh, man. Gosh, dang it. I don't think we're going to make it. So that's going to be four damage. But he blind strikes first. And then four damage. So one, two, three, and then we take one as four. Then we go to this uh, imposter who is going to use have one mind, which means he this unit gets a free strike which is enough to take us out. 
So we are KO'd. So we lost that encounter. Dang it. Oh, well, I guess them's the breaks. And those are going to go on the bottom of the stack. Definitely going to be like this. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Those come off. We'll reset the round. Set our net die. This, uh, put the canisters back. And of course, the only option we have is in the rest and recover is to completely restore our HP, which we will do. Should probably have gotten some directive dice at some point, but I didn't. Yeah, that's the that's the thing with Gasket. If once you get through his defenses or you don't roll good defenses, he doesn't have a whole lot of HP to soak up much. Um, okay, so that is the end of that. We'll put that up here because that is actually not one that's going to our progress pile. And that is the end of day five. Uh, sad panda face. And now let's go into day number six and hope we can do better.